This is Heart Reading TV. I'm Juan Carlos Serpa. And we are covering the late break clinical trials of the Saturday of the HRS 2025 meeting. I'm joined by Dr. Nadi Mani, a great scientist and electrophysiologist, and he just presented the BRAVE study. It was a study based in ablation as a prevention for ventricular fibrillation in Brugada syndrome. Tell me about the, initial, the principal findings that you find. Thank you. Well, we found that the inpatient, uh, in, in Bukata, symptomatic Bukata patients, uh, catheter ablation is uh, very effective and is very, very safe in preventing v VF occurrence. And, uh, and the result is very, very overwhelming. Um, so during the interim analysis, the data safety monitoring board stopped the trial. Okay. Uh, because it reaches uh, um, the, the, re uh, the um, rejection of now hypothesis with a very, very strong power. Exactly. So you have seen this beneficial effect. Right. So you have to stop the trial right, because right, it's really good. Right. But Tell me about the randomization. It's a prospective, multi-center yes, randomization? Yes, it's a prospective. This is a multi-center randomized trial uh, in Thailand. We started in 19... Hey, I'm sorry, 2017. Yeah. But our trial was hampered by COVID-19. So it had uh, a pause for uh, three years. Okay. And uh, But uh, we, we have the interim analysis when... Uh, this is a mandate, interim analysis at... Uh, 50 after 50 patients have been randomized, uh, and this is one-to-one -one randomized between ablation and non-ablation, and the study populations uh, are the patients who had ICD implanted, at least within five years. Okay. But for randomization, or the patient had one VF event within five years. Okay. Uh, so those are the patients that randomized, and we have. Um, uh, 25 and 25 between the two arms. And we, uh, of those finding, uh, in, in, in a nutshell, 18 of the 50 had VF event during the follow up. 13 in the control group, which is no ablation, mm -hmm. and five in the, uh, the uh, ablation group. And so this is the first way that we analyze ablation of ventricular fibrillation in Brugada syndrome right. as a preventive scenario. Right, and actually you can well to say that this is the first uh, uh, randomized trial that uh, it was done in VF prevention. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So that is the importance of this study. Exactly. Okay, and these results that you find that the control group have more events of ventricular fibrillation in the follow-up, can we? translate it to the clinical practice? How, what are your expectations after this? Well, obviously, um, the, uh, the, this trial showed the efficacy, which is remarkable. And then to expand a little bit further, we also um, uh, looking at the whole overall uh, uh, variable that dictate w why uh, some patient uh, the first ablation, this is it. what I just reported to you, was the first session, only one, one ablation. Only one ablation. Only one ablation. Uh, why some of the patients had recurrence, and we found that the patient who have concomitant mm -hmm. uh, early lipolization, or the patient in whom we did not normalize uh, substrate, the, yeah. uh, the patient had recurrence. So is it even a worse scenario because yeah. they had early yeah, yeah. So we believe uh, in the future, if we're looking in the, uh, not the same group, uh, we, we have to look in a group that have a high risk asymptomatic, mm -hmm. uh, spontaneous uh, Bukata ECG, and that have a, uh, when you undergo EP study and have the v VF induction with one or two stimuli, no more. Okay. And those are subset, subset that people recognize, even in the European guidelines, that these are the patients that high risk may need ICD, may need loop implant. So that would be one group that we will look uh, uh, to study mm -hmm. uh, that this patient, this group may not need an ICD or the patient who had unknown syncope. Okay. Yeah. So those are the two groups that we are planning uh, in the future we call BREV2. Exactly. And when this is going to be available for us to read? Uh, oh, yeah. We, they, actually, this paper, uh, up 
I, um, the hard rhythm uh, journal, uh, journal uh, accepted, and then it will be published simultaneously uh, after the embargo uh, today. So we're gonna make it available for reading through. For yeah, the, it will come audience. out tonight. I, I believe tonight because it has only been accepted. Okay. Excellent, amazing work with a great impact. Congratulations, Osana Demani. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's an you. enormous pleasure to meet you and to have you here in Hard Reading TV. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Do, you do not want to miss the coverage of the late break clinical trials here in Hard Reading TV.